Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Bantz here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new around here. In today's video, I'm be showing you guys the best haptic feedback settings to be using or DualSense X when you're playing Forza Horizon 5. Now this can really apply to any racing game. The reason why we are going to be doing it on Forza Horizon 5 today is because it's the racing game I play the most and it's also one that I get a lot of questions about regarding the haptic feedback settings. So here we are on DualSense X. As you can see, Forza Horizon 5 is running in the background. I'm just going to show you guys pretty much which ones you should use and which ones you shouldn't use when it comes to trigger haptics. So for me, I like to use resistance and also anything from very soft trigger up until rigid trigger, I would say is completely fine to use as well. These are going to completely depend on your preference, but they're just basically presets for you to use. The reason why I go for the resistant one is because you can actually change the settings on it. So you can change the start and basically what the start means is how far you have to push the trigger down for this effect to kick in. So leave it at zero so that it's always there. I'll bump mine up to eight. And then we're going to go ahead and click apply that has just applied it to the controller. So I'm going to go ahead, jump into Forza now. And what this is going to do is going to put a lot of resistance on the um, triggers so that when you push down on the accelerator, it kind of feels like you're pushing down on an accelerator in a car. Obviously not exactly because you're not in a car, you're playing a controller, but you guys get the idea. It's not completely loose. And this is actually really helpful when it comes to things like launch control in games like this where if you're using normal triggers, it's really easy to just push it down and just launch your car and spin the wheels. Whereas when you have some resistance, a bit of a bit of pushback, it makes it easier to kind of control the launch of your car. And it also makes it a lot easier with braking. So you don't just slam on your brakes and lock them up. It makes it a lot easier to smoothly brake. So that is why I like to use the resistance setting. And I'll show you guys real quick the other settings and what they do. So back on DualSense X, I'm going to show you guys pretty much why you don't want to use some of the other presets on here. For example, automatic gun. Um, you're not going to want to use something like this because basically let's just click apply so you can see what it does. So I've applied the automatic gun and what that's going to do is, oh, I need to turn the frequency up actually so that it actually does something. We'll put it up to about 20 or 18. Leave it there. So what this is going to do is it's going to constantly push the trigger back like a gun. So you kind of get the gun effect. This is why you don't want to obviously use this in a racing game. It's not going to be very practical because when you're holding that down to just drive your car, it's going to be constantly doing that. Unless you're driving an AK-74 tuned RX-7, not very practical. Another issue you might encounter using certain presets is let's just say we want to use choppy trigger. So what the choppy trigger does is kind of similar to the resistance triggers. However, this is definitely not as smooth. It has kind of like a click. So you can have to push down a lot harder to finally get it going, which isn't the greatest feeling which is why again i use the resistance one it just is a lot more consistent in the way that it feels so moving on to the other triggers that i said are all right to use earlier we have very soft uh, up until rigid so anything in between this is completely fine to use it's going to completely depend on your preference what they do is very similar to the resistance trigger the only difference are these ones are preset uh, where with the resistance one you can like fully control what happens with it um, I did try out the rigid trigger, which is actually pretty nice. However, I did find it to be a little bit too stiff and you have to put a little bit too much effort into pushing that down. But if that's something you like, then definitely go for it. So yeah, for me, if you go to resistance, put the start to zero and then put the force to eight. Gonna go ahead and click apply. I think this is probably the perfect preset in my opinion. Uh, for racing games. I hope you guys did find this video helpful. I'm trying to squeeze as much usefulness as I can out of this controller on the PC. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you stick around on the channel. Drop a like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, couple of content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.